Dead Draw here bringing another video today. Today I want to talk about regionals and give you a few tips and uh, I guess tricks I guess you could say uh, of how to perform the best at regionals that you possibly can. Um, I think I've done a video like this in the past but I haven't done one for a long time. I've had a lot of experience since then. Um, I think this video is really appropriate because my regionals is coming up this weekend so we'll see how I do. Uh, we have a bunch of members of SYA going, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you guys will get to meet some of the newer members for the first time since the vlogs have not been able to come out. Um, but I'm definitely going to be vlogging, and there's no way I'm missing a chance to uh, put this vlog up. So uh, we're going to have multiple phones probably vlog too, actually. Um, but like, let's kind of talk about uh, the things about regionals. Um, and yes, I, I have I have topped before regionals. I've won regionals. I've uh, done that. Um Though I'm I'm not always a consistent. I think the last regional I actually went to was Dimension of Chaos, and I bubbled at ninth. Um, so it's been a while. It's been a while since uh, I've been to a regional. Um, that was with Cosmo. Yeah, that was that would have been the last regional I went to. So pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into this. And the first thing I want to go over is like regional preparation. This is like probably the more important part. Um. And it's just getting ready for the regional, getting ready to play. Um, and the first thing I really have to say is like just play test, play test, play test, play test. Uh, play testing is just super important. Knowing your deck inside and out um, is is super super important. Um, but also like when I say play test, that doesn't mean just play the deck you're going to be playing and play it, play it, play it. Um, play other decks. Uh, maybe you find like you know this is this is we're talking about um, about you know you, you know regionals going to happen. Quite a while before so if, you, if you're thinking about re going to regionals and you know you maybe you don't have one close to you so you're you're kind of making a travel like we're, we're making an eight hour drive just to go to the regional um if you don't travel uh, or if you're going to travel you want to make the most of this right so pick a deck play test many decks of the meta uh obviously only do it if you're gonna have access to those decks because then it's pointless but even then, um, if you're gonna go like on Dueling Book or something, um, play play like True Draco, play play Trickstar, play play Invoked Mech Knight. Um, these decks are all decks that are able to top and capable of topping. Uh, maybe you'll find one that you like best, but second of all, um, it, even if you still plan on playing the deck you like the best, um, play the other decks because you want to know how to beat those decks. And the best way of knowing how to beat a deck is to play that deck. And then see how it goes. Um, you play that deck and be like, oh, this is this is the card we need to hit right here. This is the card that you should ash. This is the card that you should uh, ghost ogre. Type of thing like that. Um, it, it's very, very helpful. Very, very, very helpful to you playing against that deck. So I definitely play I play those decks um, about a month before. Um, kind of get a hang for them. Get a knowledge for them. And then I say about a week to a week and a half before. Or maybe even two weeks. Like If you're going to locals, just play the deck you're going to be playing. Obviously, um, figure out what cards you like, what side cards you like, what side cards you don't like. Um, I, I think all that kind of stuff. Uh, just play test your deck for the for probably the last two weeks before. Um, play those. Play play your deck. Play your deck. Play your deck. Um, don't wait if you if you're able to uh, play on dueling book and everything like that. Uh, play on dueling book. Get lots of practice. There's really good players on there. Um, you'll end up learning stuff that you know some players may not even know at your locals. Uh, you know. Just because the meta is the same doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be playing the game the exact same way. Um, I've noticed a lot of different play styles um, and just different uh, reads in that uh, for different regions. Um, so that that's a big thing there. So just lots of play testing. Like that's that's one of the biggest ones to say. Um, also, like if then now we're talking about real about a day for regionals, the night before regionals. Don't decide to be like, huh, or like even three days before you just don't be like, hey, I'm going to play, uh, instead of, uh, instead of playing my pendulum edition, <laughs> uh, I'm going to play two Dracos. Like, no, if you've been playing for the last four weeks, pendulum editions, um, and then you, you're not that experienced with two Dracos, don't do it. Don't make a switch a couple days before. Don't do that. Um, it's, it's fine to toss up cards here and there. Uh, say, I want to say, don't want to play. Uh, rescue. Yeah, this is kind of coming from a specific. I'm looking at you, Jason. This is, I'm happy you decided to play Pen Magicians, but you know, maybe if you don't want to play per se, oh, Rescue Hamster, don't play Rescue Hamster. Stuff like that. That's, that's a big regional tip. Um, 
do whatever's most comfortable with you. I mean, my best performing regionals when I got first, I played Fire Fist that was completely obscure, and 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 I think the one reason that why it won is because it was so obscure. Um. It's fine to play obscure if you're playing meta. Like you know, the the regional I won, Fire Fist was meta already, but I played a very obscure version with like dragons and all that, and that just wasn't in the meta. So like, I think uh, you know, it, it's it's if you're comfortable, do with whatever you're the comfortable, because that's what you're gonna do the best with, a hundred percent. That I promise you, you will do the best with what you're most comfortable with. Um, that doesn't mean you go play Dark Worlds or. Go play Satellar Knights or go play this. If the deck is not topping, it's probably not. There, there's probably a reason. Um, though here and there, like I, I think like, so there's some decks that can just completely squeeze out wins. Like, I mean, if, say if I were to go play Cosmos, I, I bet you I could possibly top with that deck um, because it's it just there's always good aspects of the deck, right? But there, to, the, so to a point, play with what you're comfortable with. But, you know, don't go overboard and being like, well, I'm really comfortable with uh, X Sabers. That's old stuff. Kind of stick to the meta. Um, stick to stuff that's topping. That doesn't mean that deck everything you'll sing. Have your own tech choices, all that kind of stuff. But try to play with what you're most com comfortable with. Um, that that's just definitely the best thing. And it's easy to become comfortable with the deck if you play it, you know, a few weeks before. So if you follow the other tips, you're probably following that one too. But like I said, don't don't switch like the night before or honestly, don't even really make deck changes. I mean, like like I had I have the option right now that I'm cuz I'm I'm going to be playing Trick Stars at Regionals. I have the option right now to change my build from a hand trap heavy version to go to a trap heavy version. And I don't think I'm going to be doing that because I'm so used to my hand trap uh, version that I'm just, I don't think like, you know, I don't think there's a point. I mean, yeah, the deck plays pretty much the same, but I, I like my hand trap version. So, yeah. And then the last thing I want to, uh, or kind of talk about, or not the last thing, but I want to talk about, uh, know your rulings. If there are certain rulings, um, know about your deck, like specific rulings about your deck, uh, like example, um, the uh, let's let's talk about this a simple one. If I were to normal summon Candina, uh, use effect, and they were to activate effect Veiler or Skill Drain, um, one of the, one of those two, you know, negating the effect, uh, I can chain Licorice in hand, and then so the chain resolves backwards, so Licorice will come out. Candina will be, now be in hand. Um, the target for Veiler is no longer there. Uh, it's no longer on the field, so I will still get the search. Um, same with Skill Drain. The, it's no longer on field. I will still get the search. Um, those are specific rulings that are going to help you to your advantage. Uh, I think th just knowing that stuff is, is going to be really, really important for preparing. Um, look up stuff. Like, pretty much too, like, at the same time. Uh, though Skill Drain and Effect Veiler, you can you can dodge with a Licorice. You can't dodge Baguska with Licorice. Uh, it... Um, because it says if that monster was in defense position when it activated, then that then negate the effect. So it doesn't matter where it is at the end, but for skill drain it does for that. that. So that's kind of the example. Know your rulings before regionals. Kind of look up stuff if you're curious. If you ever have any problems, and that's going to come along with playtesting as well. But um, if, you, if sometimes stuff won't come up, so just look up popular rulings. I, I do this a lot. Uh, that's how I found out the Baguska one. Um, so yeah, just do this a lot, and you you will it will help you a hundred percent. Um, and then obviously have your deck list the night before. Uh, I I've done this multiple times myself. Um, I so I'm guilty of this, but uh, like a lot of times, then you go there in the morning, you're like, man, I didn't do my deck list. You're filling out everything, like asking how everything goes. Do your deck list. You can find them on the Konami website. Um. Dueling Book has a great feature that you can just export your deck list and it makes it just amazing. It just print it out off the computer and it's super easy. Um, so just I I I, I say, you know, get your desk list. That means that means like you can get there early. Make sure you have a spot in the regionals because regionals do fill up, um, especially bigger ones. So regionals do fill up. Uh, they can't. So you can have you can miss out a spot um, if you didn't do your deck tech list in time. So do your deck list the night before, go there early, uh, right when it opens, sign up, register, enter your deck, and then go get some food. Like, go get some food. You can leave for a while because, you know, you know, if, if registration starts at 8 and then ends at 8.30, you have a half an hour. Go grab some food. Go, go do something. Uh, wake up for the day. All that kind of stuff. Um, 
So, like, that's really important. Obviously, wake up in the morning, get a good night's rest. Kind of pretty obvious stuff right there. Um, doesn't always happen because you have a lot of fun with friends. But uh, try to get a good night's rest. If you don't, all good. Take a shower in the morning. Um, nobody likes a stinky Yu-Gi-Oh player. And it's just going to make you feel refreshing, uh, refreshing and, you know, just better overall. So, um, yeah. And that's all I really have to say about preparation. Now, I want to talk about <laughs> playing the actual uh, at the actual regional itself. And first off, you are under a time limit. Some locals uh, may not have a strict time limit rule. This has a strict time limit rule. You are under a time limit. Be ready for that. All right. Um, pay attention to time. If you, you know, a lot of times they'll have a big clock up on the wall. Time it. If you if uh, if they don't have a big clock on the wall, when they start the timer, you start your own timer on your phone or a stopwatch, something to let you know the time. Time is very very important in uh, in in regionals. Um, there's a lot of times you're gonna go to time, and there's a lot of times you can lose a game that you probably should have won because of time. Um, so just be very very careful uh, about that. And then we'll kind of talk about a little bit more about time here too. Um, if you're going to lose a duel, if you are fighting a losing duel probably scoop it up and go to game two because you don't want to go into time unless you're playing a certain deck that benefits from time like trickstar i'll i'll probably this regional i probably will not just scoop up because i know i'm gonna lose because if i go into time i'm playing trickstar i'm gonna burn you to death and it's gonna hurt you so uh you're gonna have to pretty much otk me or get burned to death so depending on your deck, scoop up early. If you're playing a good deck like Trickstar, um, that's good for time, then don't scoop early. But just just know whether or not uh, if your deck's good for time or not. So those are very very important right there. Um, now we'll talk and I want to talk a little bit about siding. Um, siding can be pretty um a big deal. I mean, siding is the biggest deal at regionals. I think. Uh, less hap less likely at locals that, you know, I mean, you're still siding, but it's a lot more serious at regionals. Um, a lot better siding, uh, just a, a lot of that because, you know, everyone's prepared for this big tournament. They're all trying to get our invite. So siding, first of all, I want to talk about if your opponent, if you start, if you go to game two and you start siding, do not tell your opponent if you're going first or second until siding is done and decks have been cut. If you do not tell your opponent, if you're going first or second, until you are ready to draw both of you because if they you know um this is going to lead to my second topic but siding can be different if they're going first or second a uh, big example no and and that's you know that's that's what i want to get into um about this second point about siding know how to side i know this sounds crazy but just because a card is really good against a deck doesn't mean side it right away um for example in trick stars uh, I have in my side deck anti spell fragrance and kaiju's, um, and both of those can be used very good against pendulum magicians. But if if pen magicians are going first, I will not side anti spell fragrance. If I'm go if I know I got to go second, I will not side anti spell fragrance because it is best if you draw it first turn and you activate it going first. Yes, it can be useful later in the game, but. It is, it is probably, if, if you're going to, you know, be top decking and you top deck an anti-spell and they already have their scales set up, does it really matter? No, you're, it's not going to help you. No. So instead of those, maybe side like the kaijus because, you know, the kaijus is always going to be able to get their vortex if they make vortex first turn. Um, I think just siding, knowing when to side, what to side, um, you know, I, I think that's very important. Make sure you're not siding cards to go first. Um like cards to go first and then you're going second um it just makes no sense and this is like super important and obviously sometimes you can't like you can't afford it uh like example trick stars like if i'm going first i still gotta side kaijus against true draco because uh i don't really have too much of a side i don't i don't think i play masquerade tricks might be throwing those in my side deck now that i think about it well we'll see um but you know like just don't there's no point in citing those things uh if there's if you're not you know going first uh it just it's not going to help you in the long run it's side stuff that's going to go uh, help you go first you know go second like say um like cherries uh and how like you know get rid of their electromites from extra deck so that, that's very important for siding. um talking about sides 
and all that. Now, uh, we'll get to a little bit more here, too. Um, if you're unsure about a ruling, call a judge. Do not just go off the other player's word. Um, unfortunately, it's really hard to trust some Yu-Gi-Oh players in the game. Um, sometimes they'll be honestly think, think they're honestly right. But sometimes they'll just be trying to get a ruling in their favor. So, do not always trust the Yu-Gi-Oh player in front of you. Call a judge. Everything will be all right. And, uh, you know, the judge will likely give you the uh, the right ruling. Um, and that way, you know, there's no uncertainty when, well, man, if this guy didn't lie to me, would I have topped? You know, stuff like that can really be uh, a big deciding factor. So, make sure you guys are not doing that. Uh, very, very important. Now, also... If you have a ruling, like, for example, if this weekend I normal summon Candina and they affect Vader and I chain Licorice, and then I say I still get the search and they're trying to argue with me not, I will call a judge. If the judge comes over and says, no, you will not get the search, I will appeal that because I know I'm right. Now, so what happens when you appeal is... Uh, what happens when you appeal is that they're going to get the head judge and the head judge will come and have a final call. Now, unfortunately, if the head judge decides you're wrong too, then it's just ruled like that for that regional and is done. I think that's complete uh, bullshit because I know, for example, if you look up that ruling online, I will, um, you know, I, I will be like, no, look up, look it up. Obviously, if the head judge was like, no, no, you don't get the search, I'd be like, look it up online to that point because i know that ruling so well but a lot of times um the head judge will come say no then you just have to go with it uh but like you know for certain things if you absolutely know and you know it's easy to find online like this example um then say something but a lot of times you just got to go with the head judge but don't be afraid to appeal i have not appealed and i have lost games because i didn't appeal um, even, even if that judge, if you know, say if it's your friend judging and you, you trust your friend, you're like, you know, my friend's a pretty good player. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah. I agree with that. Then actually he changed my mind. Don't do that because I've done that. Um, and they, my friend made the wrong judge call and I lost the game because of it. So it really hurt me in the long run. Um, you know, so it, it's just like, do not, you know, be very, very careful about rulings. People will try to scum you over with rulings. People will do a lot to hurt you with rulings. Very, very important. And I guess that's all um, I have to say. Um, just be ready. You know, have fun. Remember, we are playing a children's card game. It does get pretty serious at times if you want to play it, be really good at it. But... Just remember, have fun. Don't stress. Relax. When you get to the regional, don't be worried. Don't have, be nervous. Play like you're playing at locals. We are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! At the end of the day. If you don't top, you don't top. It's not the end of the world. Plus, you can go to Nats without invites now. So, what's even the big deal? You know? But, it is fun to get those tops. Get those deck profile. Um, up to, like, TCG player and stuff. So get your name out there a little bit. It, it's a lot of fun. But, just remember, at the end of the day, it's a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. Don't get too salt. Um, I understand if you get salt when you're on the bubble, I've been there multiple times, ninth place, 10th place finishes. It sucks when you only get top eight, uh, you know, a smaller regional, you only get top eight invites. It sucks. It really does. But you guys, that's all I really have to say. Be ready for regionals. I'm going to be getting ready for regionals and just that's it. All right. And if you guys have any regional stories, please leave them in the comments down below. Tell me anything crazy that went on to your regionals or any times you got screwed over at a regional because of bad ruling. Let me know. And down in the comment section below, hit the like button, subscribe. It means a lot to me. All right, guys, you have a good one. See ya.